Hi guys, I already got two bunches of hydrangea cuttings. They are all from pink colored mophead hydrangea bushes. Then I'm going to show you how I prepare hydrangea cuttings. All the hydrangea cuttings have flower buds on the top. Actually, all these hydrangea cuttings can be divided into two groups. As you can see here on the left side, some hydrogen cuttings have small flower buds. It is relatively small flower head, not open it. On the right side, you can see the flower head is relatively big. They are just beginning to open. I'm going to take this hydrogen cutting to show you how I prepare this hydrogen cutting. So I'm going to remove all the bottom leaves. I'm going to cut half these leaves to reduce the water evaporation. And also I'm going to make a cut right here to angle cut. Just like this. Okay, I'm going to do the, the rest of all the hydrogen cuttings. Guys, already finished the preparation of all the hydrogen cuttings. Right now you can see the difference between two groups. Right now I stick all the hydrogen cuttings into the container filled with 0.2% monopotassium phosphorus. I hope this concentration of monopotassium phosphorus can help all these flowers last longer so probably I won't go to soak all these cuttings in this container for three to five hours hi hey guys in this experiment we are going to use three different solution the first solution is water just plain tap water the second solution is diluted vinegar solution actually I just use 5 ml vinegar dissolved into 600 milliliter water and mix well. I can get a solution with pH around 5.0. The third solution is alumina sulfate. Actually, I just use pure alumina sulfate powder. I take one fourth teaspoon and dissolve into 500 milliliter water and mix well and also I can get a pH value around 5.0 okay for solution 2 and solution 3 I already pre prepared it's ready to use so before we get started I'd like to recheck all the pH so first I'm going to use this pH test strips to test all the solutions. First, I'm going to test water pH value. So you can compare it. this color chart. It's around seven. So the pH value is around seven. It's neutral. 
Then I'm going to test 5% acidic distilled white vinegar. So you can see here against the color chart it's around three actually you know this kind of the vinegar's the pH value should be around 2.5 to 3.0 so you can see here around three it's correct I'm going to test diluted vinegar solution So you can see here, it's around 5, because actually, you know, the pH value, 5 to 6, the color chart is very close. It's hard to tell the difference. But anyway, here you can see it's around 5. Then I'm going to test alumina sulfate solution. So you can see against the color chart is also around 5. This kind of pH test strip, the color chart for 5 and 6 is very, very close. It's hard to tell the difference. So I'm going to use another urine deep sticker to retest these two different solutions. As you can see here, this is urine dipstick color chart. You can just focus on the pH. You can see here, pH 5 is orange, pH 6 is kind of yellow. It's, you can see the big difference. So let's use urine dipstick to retest to make sure all the solutions is 5.0. Okay, let's use urine deep sticker to retest diluted vinegar solution pH value. So you can compare it right here. It's a 5.0, definitely not 6. It's pretty good. Okay, let's check alumina sulfate solution pH value. Against the, the color chart, close to 5.0, not 6. So actually, let's put it together to deep stick. You can see here, the left side is the diluted vinegar solution. The right side is alumina sulfate. You can compare the color. It's almost the same. The color chart it's right here. It's 5.0. Hey guys, today is July 15th, 2020. About five days ago, I set up this experiment. As you can see here, 
we can find some changes. So let me update you guys with some changes. As you can see here, the water, all the flower heads are pretty healthy. But unfortunately, the vinegar, you can see most of the flower heads already turned brown. As you can see, here the cutting stem is already turned light brown. They are wilted. So it's kind of vinegar is very toxic to the hydrangea cuttings. Let's check out alumina sulfate. Some flower heads kind of pretty healthy, but you still can find some flower heads turn brown color right here. Check out the stem. The stem most of them are still green, but you can still find some light brown. So one thing I want to mention you, let me show you here. Okay, this is alumina sulfate. Check out right here. Can you see some blue flower buds right here? can see here and right here and you can see here they already turn blue a lot of blue flower buds right here but if I check other flower heads I cannot see this blue flower buds if compared with this flower buds in the water, definitely you cannot find any blue flower buds. So it is very interesting. Actually, I already found this phenomenon yesterday. Kind of three or four days later, I can see the difference. But I have to wait. So unfortunately, the flower has in alumina sulfate kind of a little bit weird. It's kind of this chemical is a little bit toxic to the hydrangea flower cuttings. Mm -hmm.